Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a swipe. And I might scoop and drag some of them. I'm More than likely I will. Um, but I'm starting out with a swipe. I'm using all TLP colors. Okay, so I'm starting off with pin pinwheel. Spinwheel. Then I got sapphire. Then I got tail feather. Now submarine. Horizon. And maraschino. <clears throat> Going to be swiping with this. Um, my pouring medium. Oh, my pouring medium is going to be its um, PPG kitchen bath and trim, and it is semi gloss ultra deep base. use oh and one part so I use four parts of the PPG and one part Joe Sonia and then I mix that with my paint um, uh, I don't measure I just mix as I as I need it and then if I uh, if it's too thick I end up um, uh, just thinning it with some water uh, my cell activator is going to be black and white Lamp Black and Titanium White, both um, Amsterdam. My cell activator recipe, I'm not using Australian Floetrol, I use um, American Floetrol. So it's one part American Floetrol and one part Zinsser Latex Extender, which is similar to Floetrol, but, um, and it works pretty good. I've had success with my cell activator. I use one part of the paint mixed with two parts of my my mix, my uh, cell activator mix, and I adjust it <clears throat> as I go. This is my consistency for my paints. And my consistency for my cell activator right now is this. Okay. All right. So Okay. I'm using um Glidden Speed Pro interior latex paint for my base. It's white. Okay. So I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to spin or tilt. sort of have an idea of where I want to place all the colors. I'm just going to do single colors like I'm going to start at the top with the uh, with pinwheel and I'm going to work my way down and just swipe randomly single colors with um, whatever cell activator I decide to use for that. If it's a dark paint I'll use a white cell activator. If it's a light paint I'll use I'll use the black cell activator. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm going to be um, adding the, both the black and white cell activator on each color. Uh, the dark colors I might add more white, but black, the light colors I might add more black. So I'll try that. Okay, so I'm going to go... Two, three, four. So let's start up here. Start, okay. 
All right, so I'm starting with um, kind of a medium, medium uh, color pinwheel. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add white on. No, I'm not gonna add white on first. I'm gonna add black on first. Just gonna spread it around over here so it reaches the end so it reaches the edges of my palette knife I'm just gonna might dump a little bit off because I think there's too much on there Okay, so now the color. Now I'm adding pinwheel. made that too thick but I'm gonna have to overlap some of the colors okay the next one is um, sapphire so I'm gonna add more white to that okay, I just added only a little bit of the black Hopefully the blue will start showing through. Now tail feather. Again, the same thing. I'm going to put white on the bottom. Ow! Oh! oh no! Oh no, no, no! Oh. I have to get that off. Hmm. Oh boy, I let it spill. All right, next color. So this is for the submarine. All right, submarine. Next one is is horizon. So. Okay. okay, so 
Chino. Okay, that's for the Marachino. Hope all these colors stay on my thing. I might have to just tilt it. Whoops. All right, what I'm going to do first though, I think I need to just bring it down there a bit. I think it's looking kind of cool. Let's get scooping. Can't see much of the tail feather over here. Whoops. Oh.
I'm not talking because I'm concentrating <laughs> on what I'm doing. I have to make sure I have enough paint off. That is very cool. But I've left I've left uh, lots of paint on before and never had a problem because I always cover my paintings. I can't let too much more go off. I will just bring it down this way a bit. You know what? I don't think I should do any more to it. I'll just pray that I've got enough paint tilted off. I'm going to make sure I got paint on the edges. Okay. I'm on my spinner. I'm not gonna. Oops! I'm not gonna spin it. I'm gonna just play around modifying it a bit. I'll bring you down for a close-up. Hopefully this dries well. I'll show you at the end the dried result. Hi, I'm back with the dried result. This dried really good. I left a lot of paint on this because I didn't want to lose any more of the color. Um, I could have spun it a few, quite a few more times, um, but I didn't and I covered it. And it's just, it dries, it dried perfect. It's, it's fine. Could show you a close up. No cracking at all. So, if you're worried about um, leaving too much paint on, it it's it's fine. Um, you can do it. You can cover your your painting with a um, a bin or a box. Just remember to leave a a couple inches space. Um, like on the edge, wait, when you put your box over here on the edge, just leave uh, leave the box out like this so that air gets underneath, a little bit of air. You can't close it in totally or it'll go all wonky. <laughs> anyway, this looks really good. I really, really, really like this one. I'm probably going to resin this one. And I'll bring it down for a close-up. And also, I did not use any um, any Australian Floetrol in my cell activator. Just American Floetrol and Zinsser Latex Extender. Worked really good. Ooh, it's hot out here. We're going on. We're having a heat wave in in Toronto or in Ontario right now. So, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.